Hey there, good looking. Join me for this fiery, low impact, yet high intensity cardio workout. That is right. There is no impact in this workout. It is easy on the joints, but it will get your heart rate up and it will torch a ton of calories. And this is also day 23 of our unstoppable challenge. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for this workout for everyone. Now heads up. This is also an all standing cardio workout. We will only head down to the mat at the very end for some ab work and our stretches. No equipment required. So enough chit chat and let's go get warmed up. All right, shall we get warming up? Excellent. Hey, listen, if you've got a fitness watch on, don't forget to turn that on. I have mine set for a HIIT workout. Yeah? Awesome. Let's start with the shoulders a little bit here, a little warm up. Big shoulder circles going backwards while you're rooting yourself with the legs and the core. So here's how today's workout will be happening. We have five exercises, 30 seconds of move, no rest in between three rounds, and then we get a water break and we move into a different circuit. So the heart rate's gonna come up, it's gonna be all standing and it will be all low impact. Last three and two and one. All right, bring the feet in. I want you to step out, push your seat rearwards. So we're doing a bit of a hip hinge. And then we've got toes, knees, hips, shoulders pointed to me. Now you can sink it down a bit deeper if the knees allow you to. Warming up now, ankle joints, knee joints, and hip joints, and then all the muscles that cross those joints. All right, now see if you can take the hand and reach it right across and tap that toe. Good, let's do four more. One more each side. Beautiful, hands light behind the ears, push the seat rear, hip hinge, warming up into the glutes, hips and hamstrings. So I've turned to my side so you can see the spine is neutral. So whatever spine you have standing, it's gonna be that same spine when you're lined up with your floor here. Elbows are pulled back, knees are gonna be soft, and then the feet are shoulder width or hip width, whatever feels best for you. Last four, three, two, one more. All right, take your right arm out, tap your left leg back and swing it up. We want that foot to come up to the hand, getting more into those hamstrings and glutes. Last three and two, and one, other side. Start with the leg tap back and then up. Good, up. Softness in that stabilizing leg, you got it. Here we go, last four, three, two, and one, all right, give me some high knees and marching arms at the same time. Warming up now, quads and hip flexors. So obviously, because there's no rest in between, you're gonna be learning the exercise on the fly, but I've grouped them together so that they kind of all go in the same way, so there's not a lot of coordination needed, but recognize that we have three rounds. So you're gonna know what's coming up with each round, and that way you can go maybe a little faster. All right, last four, three, two, and one, okay, you got about 12 seconds, shake out those legs, grab a sip of water if you want it. We want a little bit of room in front of you. You're sinking down into what I call my squat walk. So you step forward and back, good. Forward and back. So we wanna lead with a different lead leg each time, staying into that semi-squat, quarter squat. And now let's pick it up, good, excellent. We're moving into a half a jumping jack coming up. So tap it, good. So tap, then lead with that foot. 
tap, lead with that foot. Mirror me, take it up. Just one side's doing the jumping jack. Good, this knee's gonna give me a little bit of a bend. You wanna protect that knee joint. We never lock out a knee joint. You don't wanna hang on those ligaments. You want the muscles of the front and back of your thigh fired up to protect that knee. Now get that arm up there, come on. Now when the timer goes, we're staying with the same side and we'll tap behind us for a half skier. Last three and two and one and looks like this, tap it now, both arms up. So we're tapping, hip extension, glutes are working, arms are coming up, chest is lifted, come on. I'm gonna face you now. Whoop, I just totally lost my coordination. There we go. You feeling this leg yet? That's on the ground? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna move into that half jack in about five seconds. Now, can we pick it up? Come on. Three, two, one half jack, go. You got it. Softness in this knee, yeah? Beautiful, now pick it up. Pick it up. You've got abs happening here too. You really need to root yourself, fire up that core. Half skier in three, two, one, arms down and tap it, go, up, up, good. We're tapping back now, hip extension. Get those glutes fired up. So this is the last move. We go back to those squat walks for round two in about 15 seconds. Are you wearing a heart rate monitor? Do you have a fitness watch? Take a look, where's your heart rate? Yeah? Okay, have we got room to go maybe a little faster, work a little harder? You ready? Sink it down, squat. One, two, back, tap. Good, so we tap, leading with a different lead leg each time. Remembering back in the 80s and 90s, our aerobic days maybe. <laughs> Whew. Your thighs are gonna feel this round. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Whoop. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, half jack, go. Good, just near me. Don't worry about left and right. Just follow. Good. Now, are you able to pick that tempo? Stepping that foot out long. We wanna work that hip, step it out. Good, get that arm right overhead. Half skier, same arm, both legs. Three, two, one, go. Up, up, good. I have to do a slight pause between the two. Get my brain working. Oh, this leg is burning. This one on the floor, yeah? You ready? Half jack, other side, go. Up, come on. Soft this knee, good. Bend it, good, tap it out wide. Get that arm right over the head, not in front. You got this. We know what we're doing now. Now we can go turbo speed. Five more seconds, half skier. Three, two, one, let's go. Hup. Reach it, arms go up, toe taps back, good. Leg's gonna stay straight as you tap back. In 10 seconds, back to our squat walks for our final round. In three, two, one, soften the knees, in, in, good. Pick it up, come on. Woo. It's almost like a V-step too. But we're trying to stay into a quarter squat, so I really get those thighs of yours fired up. 
Good, half jack in five seconds. Remember, just mirror me, ready, go, up. Good, tap it, reach it. After all this, we're gonna grab a quick sip of water. We have two full circuits to do, so we are almost done the first circuit. Half skier, three, two, one, go. Hup, hup, good. Remember, we're not bending that back leg. We're just tapping the ground. Good, we call this hip extension. Now remember this, because we are moving into some lunges for the next series. And if lunges aren't your jam, you'll just keep that back leg fairly straight, kind of like how we're doing it here, okay? Good. Half jack, other side, and five. Three, two, one, go. I kind of like these half jacks. They're fun. Come on, this is fun, isn't it? Of course it is. You got your runners on, you push play. All right, I want to deliver for you. Put a smile on. You are moving, you are doing it. Tap back, let's go. Half skier, come on, up. You've done all the hard part. You got your runners on, you push play. All right, you just follow me now. Let me guide. Woo. Oh, that water's gonna taste good. We got 10 more seconds and then we get that break. All right, march it. 30 second breather, I need a sip of water. Woo. All right, keep those feet moving though, all right? Don't stop moving, don't stop. Okay, we're gonna be hitting the lateral hip quite a bit in this next series. It's the same idea, three rounds, 30 seconds on the clock, okay? I want you to go wide with your feet, join me in a march. We're gonna take it to a knee up and a tap with a wide stance. Let's try it. Go knee, knee. Good. So those feet are shoulder width or even wider. Arms are coming up, tapping down. Good. Knees driving up. We're moving into some hamstring curls in about 10 seconds. So you're gonna keep this wide stance. Let's give it a try. Now bring the arms out, level with the ground. Good, shoulder blade retraction. Good, now a little squat in between. Good, you got it now. Now you know it, let's do it. Go. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna move into a low impact skater. Working that lateral hip still. In three, two, one, so skate, skate. So I really want you to reach that leg across. Good. Now our next series is that lunge exercise I was telling you about. So again, you take it down as deep as it feels okay for your knees. It might be like the half skiers, back legs fairly straight. All right. Okay, three, two, one. You're gonna tap, good. Same leg, so take a look. If you're able to, you're getting the hand down to the ground. So the leg that taps back, that hand comes down. Front leg is bending, and you're giving me a really good hip hinge, making the super glute dominant. Head is up. We'll change legs in three, two, and here, change it. So this is our last move, okay? Let me go on my side. If you can't get that hand all the way down to the ground, you go where you can, all right? Each session you get stronger, you'll be able to push the envelope a bit more. You find what's gonna get you in your zone right now, right here, and commit with it. 
Knee taps in five. All right, let's get those feet apart. Widen, tap, tap, tap. Reach those arms up and down, good. In my younger days, I could never teach a low impact workout. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't, yeah. It took my 50s <laughs> to figure out how to teach effective low impact. Hamstring curls, ready, go. Add those arms, good, good. All right, now pick it up and add that little bit of a squat in between. Yes, you can. We're skating in 15 seconds. In three, two, one, skate. Go wide. Come on, reach those legs across. Work those hips. Get those glutes involved. Now move those arms. Ten more seconds, lunge and tap. Ready? Feet hip width, lunge tap down. Now you want to add a bit more, drive the knee up. Balance. Balance. So you got to focus your stare on something stationary. So probably not me. <laughs> but this is optional, and so is the hand to the ground. You take it deep as you can. 10 more seconds, we switch legs. Don't forget about that hip hinge. Ready, switch, go. That hip hinge just changes it, especially for a lunge pattern. Can really make it feel a lot better on the knees. 10 more seconds, knee taps, last round coming up. In three, two, one, feet wide, tap it, tap it, come on. It's our last round. What are you saving it up for? Give it to me right now. Those of you that have been with me for a while, you're probably thinking, whoo, baby. What did PJ drink before this workout? <laughs> Just water, <laughs> believe it or not. Woo, hamstring curls in three, two, one. Add those arms, go. Micro squat right there, come on. Go a little deeper if your knees let you. They must have contaminated the water where I'm at with some caffeine. <laughs> caffeine and Adderall. <laughs> We're skating in three, two, one. Let's go. Reach it. Come on. Lunge and taps. Coming up. You ready? Let's lunge and tap. Go, tap back, down. Good, now add to the knee drive if that's available to you. Toe tap if you're all over the place for balance. And I get it. Our heart rates are there, are up there. We're breathing hard. It's really hard to stick the balance. So if you're able to manage it, good for you. One more here. Other side, let's go. Tap that ground or side of calf. Come on.
Less than 10 seconds. We get water. Whew. Come on. Time. March it out. Oh my goodness me. Bravo, you at home. Okay, now. We need to get the heart rates down just a tad. So we're going to do a little march here and then a couple of standing stretches. And then we'll head down to the mat and finish off with some core work. Okay, I'm gonna grab some water, you keep moving. If you're part of the unstoppable challenge, then you know the drill, right? We got a little bit of ab work after every workout. You're so used to now by day 23, you're like, oh yeah, ab work. <laughs> I got this covered. <laughs> All right. If you can, balance. If not, hold on to something. Let's start with a quad stretch. Heal the bum. Squeeze the bum forward. Now listen, if grabbing onto the foot isn't available to you, perhaps grabbing onto your pant leg, your shoe, or if you have a yoga tie, wrapping it around the ankle from there. <sighs> I didn't even see what my heart rate peaked at. I um, wonder if it'll tell me on my watch. Here we go, other side. Yeah, it's important to me that I give you guys workouts that are gonna challenge you, but give you alternatives, give you low impact versions. Just because we're over 40, 50, 60, 70, doesn't mean that we can't train hard. <laughs> and that is the whole philosophy behind my YouTube channel and Over 50 Fitness. I don't want to give you condescending workouts and I do not want to give you fitness programming that won't give you results. So thank you for sticking it out with me. Okay, we're moving into a side crunch. Now, listen up, if crunches, aren't what you should be doing because of your spine or you have osteoporosis, just give you a quick run through. You're gonna do a side plank. You can either do it from the bottom knee or stack, okay? All right, everybody else, I want you to lie down on your side. Take the bottom arm, place it so that it's palm down facing the mat, your palm facing the mat. And then we're taking the upper body and the upper leg and doing a side crunch to get in the obliques. So let's get set up. It doesn't matter which side you are on, we will be hitting both sides. We have 30 seconds of work, but on this one we do have 15 seconds in between each so I can coach you on the next move. Roll back a little bit so you're more on your glute if you're down here with me. Ready? And bottom leg is fairly straight. It's the top leg that's gonna bend in and then don't be afraid to push down into the ground a bit with this bottom arm to get yourself a little bit more height. And then your exhale as you come up. 30 seconds of work, and then we flip and do the other side. You'll feel your hip and your abs. Time. Woo. All right. Other side. So do the side plank from knees or toes or join me. Bottom arm extends, palm down, roll back a bit and up. And let's go. Think rib to hip as you crunch up. As I mentioned, you can push into the floor with this hand. Exhale as you curl up. time on your back for me. Legs are in tabletop position. If you can't crunch, you're just going to do the leg drop and not do the crossover. Everybody else, lift and twist to your left side and then slowly lower both legs down. Good. So again, if you can't crunch, you'll just be doing the leg drop. Now, if you want to make this harder, straighten the legs. But when you drop those legs, you're not letting your low back pop or your belly to puff up. Now you can also make it a little harder too by not fully dropping the head down on your ground with each rep. So oblique crossover, leg drop. 
or perhaps you've just chosen to do the leg drop time. All right, we got the other side and then we're done. So start in tabletop if that's where you were last time. Now we're lifting to the right now. Exhale, good. Heel tap, keeping that low back anchored on the ground. Or maybe you wanted to straighten the legs and then you drop them straight down. Great. Now maybe you want to keep the upper body off the floor when you lower the legs. Holding on to the head with the hands. Time. Woo. All right. Straighten those legs. Straighten those arms. Total body stretch here. Feels very yummy. Oh, yeah. All right. We just have time for one stretch, so I'm going to make it count. We're doing the hip flexor one. Left knee on the ground under the hip. Right leg out. Good. Now lunge into it. Good. Excellent. Now. Take your left arm and place it behind the head and let your head fall back into the hand. My hand is literally right behind my neck. And then I'm gonna lean away. It's a really nice way to get triceps, but to open up the side of the body and the front a bit more. Bravo, thank you again. I appreciate your support and for you coming and placing your trust in me with your fitness. I don't take that lightly, so thank you. All right, let's do the other side. Lunge into it. Now let's take that other hand behind, pull the elbow back and just kind of let your body rest and kind of lean into that arm. And again, you should feel a bit of a deeper stretch in that back hip by doing that. And release. Thank you again. I really appreciate seeing you here. I look forward to reading your comments and I will see you next workout. Bye. For some ab work and stretches. All right, lace up your runners and let's get started. Oh shit, the day, forgot the day, damn it. All right, I totally lost it. Oh no, no.